Hi everybody, welcome back to Small Caliber Arms Review. I'm Richard, and over the years I have read every one of the comments on my channel, and several times I've been asked, what's the difference between 22 long rifle and 22 magnum? So I've got a couple rounds here. I've got a 22 long rifle, which is kind of hard to see in my fingers there, and I've got a 22 magnum. Now these are both manufactured by CCI, and what I have done is I went ahead and used my bullet puller and I pulled two rounds apart, both a 22 Magnum and a 22 Long Rifle. They're both CCIs. These are 22 Maxi Mag Hollow Point 22 WMRs. They clock in at 1875 feet per second according to CCI. The others are 22 standard velocity, 22 LR standard velocity, clocking in at 1,070 feet per second. And one of the things you'll notice about the two rounds is the 22 LR are kind of a dark color. They are uh, kind of a waxy coating on them to lubricate and prevent leading in the inside of the barrel. And usually at lower velocities, it doesn't occur so much, but as you start getting a thousand feet per second or more, you start getting more lead buildup inside the barrel and that helps cut down on it. Now the 22 Magnum is a copper plated bullet and the reason for that is the same thing, is to prevent leading inside of the barrel. But if you did not have that in the 22 Magnums here at 1875 feet per second, the inside of that barrel will get leaded up pretty quickly. Um, quite a bit of difference in powder inside of these things too. This powder right here is from the 22 Magnum and it is a spherical powder. It's little tiny balls of gunpowder. The powder for the 22 Long Rifle, uh, it's little round flakes of powder, uh, little round flat discs of powder anyways. So the two powders will burn a little bit differently. Obviously the 22 Magnum being a more powerful round is going to have more pressure inside of there than the 22 long rifle. Of course it's a bigger round too so that higher pressure is going to be filling up a larger volume to project that bullet out to 1875 feet per second. But they, the manufacturer makes these powders the way they do because years and years and years of research have developed you know what they needed to get to get the velocities they want and the performance they want out of it but anyways the biggest thing the biggest difference between the two is going to be the cases let's take a really close look at those okay so the two cases obviously are a lot different in length they're also a difference in diameter too where the actual 22 long rifle is a smaller diameter than the 22 Magnum. It might be kind of hard to show that on here. It won't quite fit down inside there, but the bullets themselves, sorry about that, the bullets themselves are pretty much the same diameters, except that the 22 long rifle is rebated at the base a little bit, and that allows it to fit down in the smaller diameter case of the 22 long rifle. It will fit inside there. It's stuck a little bit. Where the 22 Magnum is the same diameter all the way down and it gets pressed down in there too. Um, so what that does is like if you got one of the Heritage, you got the revolver with the two cylinders in it. This one is 22 WMR, says right there. This one is 22 LR, long rifle. So you can put the 22 LR case in the one chambered for 22 LR, obviously. You can also put it in the one chambered in 22 Magnum, which you're not supposed to do. And there is a reason for that. It's to, if you put it in there, it will fire probably, but it's gonna give that case is gonna expand more than it should following the path of least resistance and pr could probably cause case, case rupture. The 22 Magnum one fits down in the Magnum cylinder, nice and snug, does not fit in the 22 long rifle one. That's to keep you from accidentally putting this in there and firing it in a gun that is not chambered for it. So that's another big reason for it. But the bullets themselves are pretty much the same. These are both 40 grain lead round nose, a 40 grain copper plated hollow point. This is a varmint round, this is a target round. But that's the biggest difference in the two to keep you from accidentally putting one in the gun that it's not chambered for. And obviously a lot difference in velocity, uh, a lot more difference in power, range, all that good stuff. But anyways, that's the biggest difference between the two rounds is to keep you from accidentally putting one in the other when you shouldn't do that. The bullets are pretty much the same. Anyways, thanks for watching Small Caliber Arms Review. If you could, reach up here and hit this button to check out some of my other videos and hit this button over here to subscribe if you haven't already.